the ranking Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congressman Schiff, thanks so much for joining us today. You heard nice, Senator McCain's initial statement uh, blaming the president, in effect, and you've, you've since heard something of a qualification from him, clarification. Let me ask you directly, what's your response? Well, I was very disappointed to hear the statement. I have a lot of respect for John McCain. He's an American war hero. Uh, but frankly, that statement sounded a lot more like Donald Trump than John McCain. Uh, and I wish he would just retract it uh, in its entirety. Uh, I don't think it adds anything to the national debate. Uh, and, uh, and, and I think it was a grievous mistake. I have to ask you, Congressman Schiff, because that initial statement, as you saw, I mean, it sparked an immediate storm. I saw it exploding on Twitter. Very quickly, he issued this camp clarification, both on Twitter, uh, but also in a more formal statement. It, it seemed that he was attempting to distinguish himself from Donald Trump's position, directly blaming the president. Did, did you hear the same thing? Did you interpret the same thing? Well, when I heard the initial statement, it certainly sounded an awful lot like what Donald Trump has been saying. Uh, and it may be an illustration of just how much Donald Trump is coloring the national debate uh, in a very unhealthy and counterproductive way. Uh, and this is part of the danger of Donald Trump, that it lowers the bar in the country, it lowers the level of civil discourse, and in fact espouses a lot of views uh, that are antithetical to our national security interests. Uh, so I, I do think it's part of the Trump effect uh, in kind of uh, uh, ju just making this a much more coarse and vicious political debate, uh, and it really has to stop. L let me ask you this, though, Congressman Schiff. Let's separate uh, direct responsibility, as you initially claimed, for the Orlando shooting. There, there is a more substantive criticism here from Senator McCain. You've heard it from others that, that the Obama administration allowed an opening for the Islamic State by pulling those troops out of Iraq, by not securing a deal with the Iraqi government to keep at least some troops, which some on both sides of the aisle, frankly, have said contributed to ISIS's ability to take over large parts of Iraq. Is there not a substantive criticism there that the administration at least shares responsibility for allowing that opening to ISIS in Iraq? Well, you can certainly make the argument that the administration didn't succeed in negotiating a status of forces agreement. But the fact is the Iraqis didn't want us there, uh, and President Bush had similar trouble in reaching out and reaching any agreement with the Iraqis. Uh, but to somehow then say that the president is personally responsible, uh, and right in the wake of a national tragedy like this, uh, I, I just don't think there's a, a link to be made. Uh, and I think it really is uh, a, really a gross disservice to the president uh, and to the cause of what do we need to do to prevent gun tragedies like this from happening and terrorist attacks like this from happening in the United States. Let's talk about the effort. You saw your colleague, uh, Senator Murphy, on the Senate side giving this, uh, this filibuster to try to at least get a vote on some measures uh, to respond to this attack, uh, some gun control measures. Do you believe, do you see a change uh, in the political environment on the Hill today following this attack? Because we've seen this many times before, horrific attack, talk of some measures to respond a week or two or days later, that feeling disappears. Is there something different about this one that will drive actual action on the Hill? Uh, Jim, you're absolutely right. If you were a betting man, you'd always bet, a bet, a bet against Congress and particularly when it comes to the gun issue. Uh, but it does feel like something has changed now. Uh, maybe this is the tipping point. Uh, I would have thought that the country needed nothing more, the Congress needed nothing more than that Sandy Hook tragedy. Uh, but even that did not result in any action that was really part of the powerful motivation for Chris Murphy to take to the Senate floor in that filibuster. But this really does feel like something has changed, uh, that something here in the Congress, something in the national consciousness has just snapped with this latest tragedy. People are demanding a response, and I think Congress members need to be aware if they stand in the way of common sense gun reform uh, that we may be entering a new chapter.